Hello guys, welcome back to another Darken video. Now, in this video I will be going over AGL Bardock and why I feel like he's a bit underrepresented in the Darken community because you know I see people talking about how good Beerus is and how good you know new Kefla is. So it's always talking obviously cool it is number one anyway, so there's no point even trying to compare it to him, but no one's really ever talking about Bardock. Maybe it's because not much people summoned for him, because, you know, everybody has been saving up for the 5th anniversary. But honestly, I feel like he's been flying under the radar for quite a long time. It's even been quite hard to find some friend units with AGL Bardock these days. I'm here to show you why you should never sleep on Bardock, and why next time he is featured, you should definitely try to get a copy. Now. First thing I always do is I always go over the units so I'll show you what he can do if you just forgot but first of all his leader skill is ridiculous. Look at this leader skill. Revenge or low class warrior category. Key plus four. Now key plus four that's it. That's sorted. That's already, that's already amazing. 130% HP you know that's meh but attack and defense 170% so key plus four 170% attack. That is legit top tier. That is top tier. And he does it for the revenge and low class warrior category. Now I've got that up here, which I will show after I just go over this unit and we will see some team building options right there. Let's see what he can do. So first of all, his super attack raises defense immense damage. Now what this means is infinite stacking defense. If you want to do the legendary Goku event, just take this guy and it's fine. By the time you get to that more difficult events like you know strength UI or int UI, he'll take no damage. He will have like over 300, 400k defense. He'll be taking double digits from literally everything. But you know that's not all he can do. Let's see what he can do if you choose to transform him as well. But let's see how his passive works right now. So in base form, so this is without him transforming, he has 120% attack and defense and plus an additional 10% per low class warrior category ally on the team up to 50%. Now. If you're running like a proper optimized team, you may not worry too much about this extra bonus thing. Like the 120% is pretty nice anyways, and anything you get extra is just a bit of a bonus. Don't try to ever build a team. Try to maximize that, because you know, you'll transform and then that's kind of useless. And attacks are effective at all types when it is a wicked bloodline category enemy. Now this is why maybe he's slipping under the rug. Because, you know, we don't have a really hard event that is catered towards fighting wicked bloodline enemies like so any like strength call is amazing because the legendary goku event and obviously there's a lot of other saiyan events but mainly like lge take him in there he'll quit every single time which is amazing but this guy only wicked bloodline which i mean if there's a legendary freezer event that comes out this guy will destroy him now guys transformation is literally just four turns or the first turn if there's a wicked bloodline enemy now only 4 turns is crazy, think about how much hoops AGL Gohan needs to jump into to just get his transformation and this guy just needs 4 turns? But let's see what it does and he's got one of the coolest arts ever, look at that art, bang. Now he does not stack defense incredibly in this so he just raises attack and defense to 1 turn. So you do this when you don't need his stacking defense when you want to go for the kill. And lowest defense but most units do low defense. But this is where it goes crazy now, this is what makes him top. Top 5. Attack 180% off the bat. That's like cooler. Defense 100% and he's effective against all extreme class enemies. And he also just has key plus 3 and a lot of different things. 18% like uh, crit, 18% evasion, 18% damage reduction for 5 turns from when you transform. Which is crazy. Like If you transform him and you know you're ending it in 5 turns, it's a done deal. Like This guy will just take down anything. Now again, the next part of his passive is underutilized until we get more difficult events, but if you fight a wicked bloodline enemy, he will always launch an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack, and every single one of his attacks will crit as wicked bloodline enemies. A bit like AG on Nail, but on steroids. Now, enough about that unit, he sounds OP. Let's look at his team options right here. So looking at the wicked blood, not wicked bloodline, sorry, low class warrior revenge team, there was a bit of controversy on this, but you know what? There's still some solid options, honestly. We've got LR Baby. 
LR Tech Broly, which is you no know, people regard as one of their most favourite LRs, some people. But you still get some really solid options, like the amount of support you can run on this team, which support is key for teams, guys. You get Metal Cooler, Gallic Gun Trunks, Turles, which, you know, Turles is crazy. And since this guy fits on the team, you know, you've got another defence stacker. This team is easily able to do the LG. Got more incredible units like this guy, which links up really well with the Bardock. I will get into that shortly. But just on those, if you've got loads of free to play options as well, if you're, you know, rather with that free to play. And yeah, guys, looking like a really solid team. Obviously, this team's not for everyone. It's not as broad as Pure Saiyans, you know, it's not as free to play friendly as Pure Saiyans or, you know, for the new people, but. Still, really solid considering it is key plus four. Now guys, the team I've decided to run in the showcase is a mixture of Bardock units, you know, so I've got the Bardock rotation at the top. This shares around about four key and about 30% attack. But after those four turns, he transforms and they share even more links and it goes to, goes to four key and 65% attack. That is an incredible jump up and it is incredible. Next I've got AGL Baby with Int Metal Cooler just for a rotation on the second. I could have had Tech Broly here or anything. I just thought, you know what, I want to try AGL Baby and you know, I can do it on this team. Key plus four, easy go. And then I've thrown in a few top tier supports at the end, you know, there. So I'm going to jump into an event and I can see what this team does. Be right back guys. Okay guys, I am back and honestly, I will not lie, it did take about 4 retries to find a proper AGL Bardock friend, which is crazy to be honest when you think about how much people ran him at the beginning, but honestly, Dokken works on a hype to hype basis, so like, you do check right now, there's just tons of uh, UI Dokus, but trust me, as soon as maybe like, <laughs> as soon as the next unit, unit comes out, everyone's going to change their friend unit leader to that, which you know, I can't blame them, that's how Dokken works, unfortunately. Uh, and unfortunately I had a whole rotation of just my support units, and <laughs> then the next rotation has all my strong units, so it's going to take a while for me to get Bardock on rotation with Super Saint Bardock counterpart. Yeah, and this is just a battle of the supports right here. <laughs> Which, I mean, they're doing some quick work though, I will, and I don't think these guys will link up because I wasn't, these guys are not supposed to link up, unfortunately. Uh, I'll keep it like that, I guess. Or no, I'll keep it like this, get mine on float. So, again, the attack stat here will not be too crazy because he's linked, he's got zero links active with baby. So rotation was not supposed to happen, by the way, guys. But Okay, so we're going to take some damage here, maybe, just a bit of damage, yeah, a bit of damage, type disadvantage, no stacking as well, so 1.2 million, that's the friend unit with no dupe, but that's 1.2 million with zero links active right now. And, you know, no links at all in this rotation, unfortunately. When your team starts off with the absolute worst links ever, you know, worst rotation, sorry, it can be really difficult to get back on track. You know, these babies try and lose his de attacking defense. And mine's 1.4. Mine, I did get blessed on the banner. I did end up pulling two dupes, which, you know, shows why he's doing additionals and everything. And, you know, on a more regular basis. But he's still solid. Okay, so. Going to, you know what, I'm going to pause it here until I get some proper rotations, guys. Because this is going to take way too long. Okay, just paused it for a little while, but I am back. And I've gotten the rotation that I do want now. So let's just dial it in and see how it goes. Okay, so keeping the baby, obviously maybe don't we'll always win this rotation. This because you know you do have this guy on float. I uh, will not transform him yet. There's no point. Yeah, obviously it's probably best to take the tech Broly rotation, where you do link him up with the tech Broly or link physical chunks with the tech Broly. But you know I have not used AGL baby in a while actually, and he is one of my more favorite LRs. At the moment I think he is my actual favorite LR on Global. Yeah, I would say that. I don't know, I just have quite a lot of fun using him. I never get to use him that often. This is my only team that I do have him at 170%, so you know, I do run this team quite here and there. Unfortunately I did not kill him, which is just going to make this a waste now, but you know what, let's go in. So, at the moment he's 271k. 
So this will destroy him, but let's see this animation now. This animation is one of the cleanest in the game for transformation. Look at this. Look at that hair flick. And yeah, like cannot deny. As soon as I saw that, I had to summon for him. And let's see how he's standing. 169k defense, that is with. I mean, this guy only gives attack, this guy does give some defense though, so this guy is, he's getting boosted by 30% but still, 170k, he did not even stack defense up that much. And this is with two dupes to do remember, but let's see what numbers he can produce. Oh no, see some, at least 3 million here. 3.2, yep. Remember, he's just a Dock and Fest exclusive, not an LR. So 3.2 after just 4 turns is crazy. Obviously it's not as high as what the Kefla can get maybe but I don't know if you compare the, if you're trying to compare this type to Kefla and you compare it with everything that's going on do remember that Kefla's lead, leaders is ass. Her leader skill is one of the worst out of all the good LR I mean TUR sorry if you're including like in future Gohan cool uh, even Android 13 and like including this Bardock as well, even physical Beerus, like Kefla has such a bad leader skill, it's terrible. Rapid growth does not have a place in Tuckan unfortunately. And this is gonna do some damage to me actually since this int metal cooler and super attack by the physical, but that's fine. And I still should get another rotation of the Bardock as well. This will be Bardock with not another one on float actually, that's pretty nice okay, so. You know what, let's see what he can do with no dupe, let me put the no dupe in. Because you know, if you do see this and you do think, yeah I do want to summon for that unit, this is probably the best way of you seeing what he can do. Let me transform him right here, yeah we get to see that awesome transformation again. Never get tired of that. And defense 113k on the free to play, not free to play sorry, 55% unit. Mine's at 147k. Now, this guy is honestly the only reason I think why AGL Bardock isn't talked about more because this guy is his best linking partner and this guy is not the best unit. If this guy had an EZA or something around saying day, then he would be like so much better as in the AGL Bardock but Fortunately, this is what we do have to live with if you do want to optimize the AGL Bardock. That's why you don't really see AGL Bardock taking to much higher events optimized. 2.5 min, that is not terrible at all. Remember, it's only linked up with that one support unit, not double support. And that's 55%. Remember, he does not stack attack, so as soon as after those four turns, he will consistently get that damage. And that was against a super ally. So there was no super effective damage so unfortunately like this fight as well is against super enemies so super effective damage will not come into play unfortunately well i'll just do a bit more of this though just to showcase it a bit more see what it can do well, yeah i might as well keep him with the 55 percent one you know just showcase i mean you did see my 79 percent one get a bit more damage but of course like and baby's gonna show off here showing why he's one of my favorites and yeah that's a dead goku yeah, before cooler, uh, baby was the same killer. But fifty-five percent, seventy-eight k defense off the bat, and let's see what he's getting. Seventy-eight k defense. Remember, none of these guys give defense, so that seventy-eight k is like baseline, and that's nothing to laugh about. That's before he stacks it up, and he's looking at a one point nine six. That's probably like best scenario on this team. At 55%. Didn't kill unfortunately with that. Left him on a pixel there. On a pixel. Uh, yeah, just gonna finish that. And I think I'll play this out until I get the next transformation and then just show it again. Uh, yeah, this is just gonna be a bit more free lowage. Yeah. Fortunately, the only problem I have with this Bardock as well is that he replaced the physical Bardock. Now, if he just had a slightly different name, this team would be so much more crazy. I mean, I know they're both base form Bardocks, but placing an LR 
is not that nice. I've had people come into my stream and they've said, oh, I got shafted on the ban, I pulled LR Bardock, and all I can say to them really is, well, maybe Battlefield, you can use the physical one. Like, but other than that, what can I say to them? It's a bad idea on, I think, Dokken's part for doing that. Okay, so let's transform him. He's got a support unit with him as well. So 55% from the friend. Let's see what he does with the support on rotation as well. And we get to see this again. That is nice. And let's dial in. His super attack is pretty clean as well. Not the cleanest. He's not like, I'd say strength cooler probably has the cooler super attack, but still. I'm not going to dial this in. There's no point. That'd just be a waste of time. And let's go. The next time this guy will be featured on a banner probably will be the 350 million download celebration guys. So uh, hold tight for that. It is definitely coming and you know, better hold tight for it because I can see those banners being crazy. If you do want to know what we're getting, I have done a, like a prediction video about what we should get in my last video. So do give that a check, you know, if you're a bit curious and like look at the certain hints I've seen. I mean, it's not for definite, obviously it's never for definite really, but you know, it's always nice to, you know, theory craft, brainstorm, and see what you can find out. Okay, and that is that. Okay, dudes. Honestly, guys, that, thank you for watching. That was it because I could take him into a more difficult event and just stack his defense, but it'll literally be him in base form just doing his super attack over and over again. And you know, it works. It honestly works. You you take, you need a Goku family team, but he needs that defense on the side. You just take this guy. Any team he fits on. Look at these teams he fits on. Crazy amount of teams. And every single one of them, you can just put him on there. Get him either on the main or the float and just stack his defense up for the legendary Goku event and he is fine. Even in some super battle roads, I mean you saw that 78k defense without, you know, without any defense support, that is crazy. But let me know what you guys think, did you pull for this guy or did you just skip him entirely for the 5th anniversary? If you did skip him, you know, cannot blame you. I wish I could have done the same but I just loved his transformation so much. I had to get it with a few copies, you know that. But yeah, let me know what you think about this and how's this video changed your opinion of him because his teams are crazy. E plus 4 is so nice. So nice. Yeah, anyway, this has been Kizan and I'm going to bounce out. See you on the next video.